Hello, and in this video, we will be looking at waves and particle nature of light, specifically for edXL. We'll take a look at specification point 65 and 66 in this video. Specification point 65 states that we need to know and understand what is meant by wavefront, coherence, path difference, superposition, interference, and phase. And specification point 66 states that we need to be able to use the relationship between phase difference and path difference. So here's a list of definitions. A wavefront is basically a surface associated with a propagating wave and passing through all points in the wave that have the same phase. Coherence is maintaining a fixed phase relationship and also having the same frequency and wavelength. Path difference is the difference in path traversed by two waves measured in terms of a wavelength of the associated wave. Superposition when two or more waves cross each other, their displacements is equal to the vector sum of their individual displacements. Interference, the combination of the effect of two or more physical states, such as waves, to form a new physical state, resulting in the displacement being cancelled or reinforced. Phase, the relationship in time between the successive states of an oscillating system, either with a fixed reference point with which it may not be in synchrony. Now, to get a better understanding of the relationship between both phase difference and path difference, I figured it would be useful to take a look at some uh, past paper at Excel questions. So the following question states that two coherent sources emit waves of wavelength lambda in phase. At a point where the two waves meet, they have a phase difference of 90 degrees, or pi over 2 radians. Which of the following is the path difference at this point? So we have to use our path difference formula, which is given by lambda multiplied by the phase difference divided all by 2 pi. Since the two coherent sources emit waves of wavelength lambda, we just substitute in lambda. So in this case, we just keep lambda as it is. And then we multiply lambda by the phase difference, which is pi over 2 radians. So it's lambda times pi over 2 radians divided all by 2 pi. Now, I factored out the half at the top of the fraction to make the simplification process easier. So we have a half lambda pi divided all by 2 pi. There's a common factor of pi on the fractions on both top and bottom, so they cancel out. So you would end up with a half lambda divided by 2. And to simplify the numbers down even further, we need to just take um, a half and uh, have a look at what it is in terms of a decimal, which is 0 0.5, and divided by 2, which is 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 expresses a fraction is a quarter. So the path difference is a quarter lambda. The following question here states that two coherent sources emit waves of wavelength lambda in phase. The two waves meet at a point having traveled slightly different distances. The waves now have a phase difference of 180 degrees or pi radians. Which of the following could be the path difference at this point? So for this one, we still have to use the path difference formula. So the two coherent sources emit waves of wavelength lambda, therefore we just keep lambda in the formula as it is. We multiply lambda by the phase difference, which is pi radians, and divide it all by 2 pi. Since there's a common factor of pi on both top and bottom of the fraction, they cancel down, and the path difference is given by a half lambda. And this following question here states that displacement time graphs are shown for two waves, each of frequency f and period t. The phase difference in radians between the two waves is given by, so initially for this one we have to start off with the phase difference formula, which is equal to the path difference multiplied by 2 pi divided all by lambda. We also have to use the formula for frequency, which is 1 over the time period, and we have to use the wave speed equation, which is frequency times lambda. Now for the wave speed equation, where there's the frequency, we substitute in 1 over the time period, and then we rearrange for lambda, so we get lambda equaling the velocity times by the time period. And since the path difference of the waves <coughs> is uh, the distance between the two waves, we can take a look at the distance formula, which is the velocity times time formula, and substitute in velocity times time where the path difference is. So we substitute in velocity times time, and then we multiply it by 2 pi and divide it all by velocity times time period. Since there's a common factor of velocity on both top and bottom of the fraction, they cancel down, and you would end up with the phase difference as being t, 2 pi, over the time period. And to kind of rearrange that and clean that up, you would end up with 2 pi t all over the time period. 
Thank you all for watching. I hope this video has made sense and cleared any questions anyone's had about path difference and phase difference. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.